Hello, Stewart's residence. This is Gabriel Knight calling for Prince James. Yes, one moment, please. Mr. Knight, what in God's name is... I know you must be frantic. Let me explain. Last night, someone came into the bedroom through the window and took your son. I followed them, but I couldn't catch up. They went to the train station and boarded a train for Toulouse. I believe they got out of a little place called Cuiza. I'm still trying to track what happened next. Cuiza? Near Rennes-le-Chateau? Yes. You know it. Gabriel, I... Thank you very much for informing me. I, I must think for a moment, please. I'm afraid our investigation of the night visitors will have to be postponed. I'll send down some men to look into the kidnapping. Wait a minute. What makes you think the night visitors weren't involved? I, I don't have time to explain. Keep your eyes open until my men arrive, if you would. I'll send Miss Nakamura along. Oh, and naturally, your travel expenses and the fee we discussed will be taken care of. Oh, that's not important. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Perhaps I will call on you again when I have time for such matters. Good... Goodbye. Well, hi. You must be Madeline Boothane. Perhaps. Who are you? Gabriel Knight. You know Mosley from your tour? We go way back. Ah, oh, I should have recognized the accent. What accent? Never mind. So, you know Monsieur Mosley? Oh, yeah. And I was wondering how much you charge me to, you know, kind of hang with the group. Given that I'm paying for my own hotel and all. Two thousand francs. <whistles> kind of steep, innit? This is the price of success. Do you wish to find the treasure or not? I'll think about it. When did y'all get in? Last night. Late? No. Why do you ask? Just curious how long it took. You drove it? Yes. From Toulouse. It's about uh, two hours. Who all came in the van? Most of the group flew into Toulouse. John Wilkes, Lady Howard, Miss Stiles, and your friend, mostly. Messrs. Bukkelly and Baza made their own arrangements. So, what's this tour group do, anyway? I guide my clients through the facts of the mystery and show them the important locations. From there, they can draw their own conclusions. Well, how come you're not guiding them right now? There is a lot to absorb in the town itself, Monsieur Knight. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. will be the first guided lecture. Oh, well, I'll still think about it. So, you're the expert, right? What's your theory about the treasure of Rennes-le-Chateau? i leave that to my clients. It is better that way, no? Secrets of the Holy Grail. I wonder if that book's got something to do with this area. Unfortunately, the store is closed. San Grial. Holy Grail. San Grial. Wasn't that what the two men on the train said? Why would they be talking about the Holy Grail? And what does the Grail have to do with Rennes-le-Chateau? Ah, how are you? You run this place? Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. The name's Knight. Very well. 
And you are... Madame Girard. Is there something I can help you with? There might be. Have you heard a baby crying in the past 24 hours? I have three grandchildren. What do you think? Say, does the Holy Grail have something to do with this area? Hmm, perhaps. Uh-huh. And what would the connection be, exactly? Some believe the Templars found sacred Christian treasure in the Holy Land. When they were persecuted, they would have hidden it, n'est-ce pas? It really is not that difficult to leap, monsieur. Sacred Christian treasure? Like the Holy Grail? Possibly. The most famous Grail story, written by Wolfenbach, was set in Languedoc. Did you know that, monsieur? Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> no, of course you did not. Is there anything special I should know about the town? The displays will tell you the history of Rennes le Chateau. You mentioned Templars. As in the Knights Templars? Were they really from this... If you wish to know about the Templars, read the history board. There's supposed to be some kind of treasure buried around here, right? Yes, that is the theory. Well, what kind of treasure is it? That is part of the mystery, monsieur. Okay, so what are some of the possible treasures? Gold stores of the Romans. The fabulous wealth of the Visigoths, which was never found. The fabulous wealth of the Merovingians, which was never found. Or it could be the fabulous wealth of the Cathars, which... Yeah, I gotcha. The Templars too, right? But of course, they had more fabulous wealth than anyone. Why do you think that French pig dog of a king turned on them? Um... <sighs> Aren't you French in this region? Well, France thinks so. Any other theories on the possible treasure? Well, the Romans did destroy the Temple of Jerusalem, stole sacred Hebrew artifacts. Perhaps it is the lost treasure of Jerusalem that is buried around here. And then there is this one theory. Yes? Ah, never mind. I am a good Catholic woman myself. Why don't you read up on the subject if you are so very interested? Say, were you around last night? I was at home, monsieur. Oh, you didn't happen to see anyone coming into town, did you? Late? Around 11? I am well asleep by then. The early bird catches the worm, you know. <laughs> yeah, and what an incentive that is, too. <laughs>